I'm going to be showing you how to record gameplay on your Oculus Quest 1 or 2, how to get it out of that ugly square format and into glorious full screen, and also how to edit your gameplay and audio if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel covering virtual reality of your very own. I hope you're doing well, my name's David, and you're very welcome to the YouTube channel if you're new here, and of course, if you're not, welcome back. So I'm going to be walking you through the entire process of recording, making your video into the full 16 by 9 aspect ratio, and also how to sync up your gameplay and audio if you're thinking about making virtual reality content of your very own. If you do enjoy today's video, do consider clicking that subscribe button. I'm hoping to spread the word of virtual reality and grow even more in 2021. So you can help me out along the journey if you're interested in becoming a part of the virtual reality movement. Be sure to watch all the way to the end of today's video so you know exactly how you can make your high quality virtual reality content. Now, let's get straight into the video. So starting things off, the Oculus Quest 1 and the Oculus Quest 2 both have built-in recording software that a lot of people don't know about. To access this, all you do is go to your dashboard on the home screen of the Oculus Quest and you can go over and record your gameplay. You can also do this in games by just pausing the game and then clicking record and then you can actually record straight away when you're inside of a game. Unfortunately, the recording inside of the Oculus Quest is an ugly square format, which isn't really useful in any website, really. Unless, of course, you have an old boxy TV and, hey, that's perfect for watching VR content recorded on your Oculus Quest then. Just, just use that. But seriously, in just a minute, I'll tell you how you can actually change this format and make it into that wonderful 16x9 that fills the whole screen. That's what you want. Just a quick heads up on something that you should know. The Oculus Quest and Oculus Quest 2 both only record from the left eye, which can be a little bit weird for right-handed players. You do need to take this into consideration because let's say you're looking down a sight in your right eye. You're right-handed, you're looking down a sight with your right eye. No one's actually going to be able to see that in the recording because they're seeing your left eye. Thankfully for me, I'm left-handed and I'll end up looking through my left eye when I'm using a gun scope. This is something that I'm sure in the future they will update and maybe you'll be able to choose between either your left or right eye for recording. But currently this isn't a feature and this is the only way it's done. I hope this isn't going too fast. I'm just trying to give you as much quality information as possible in the quickest amount of time as possible. If you do enjoy this format, do subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos like it and be sure to hit that notification bell so you'll be the first to see my new uploads. When you are recording any gameplay, something that I always do is click on anything. If it's a menu icon or if it's just hitting something, just any type of movement that will make a sound inside of the gameplay recording and I'll get to why this is so important in just a second. This is going to help massively with lining up your audio of your gameplay and of your game audio. Now, how to get rid of that square looking format and make it a full 16x9. All you got to do for this is bring it into your editing software and crop down into the center part of the video. Unfortunately, you do lose the bottom and the top of the video footage, but a lot of the time nothing's really going on there. Just to be conscious when you're recording your videos that you're really looking at the subject that you want to be seen in the videos and make sure that it's not like down on the bottom or the very top half of your screen. You want it to be in the center part as your main subject for the videos. Of course, if you are actually thinking about going a sort of side by side view, you could put the gameplay on one side of your screen and then put you actually playing the gameplay on the other side of the screen. I know a lot of VR YouTubers do do this currently and it looks and works really well. You do get to see the full picture of everything that they would have seen in virtual reality, but you don't get the full 16 by 9 of the video, which a lot of people are very interested in. Matt from BMF does this really well, and this is really incorporated in the style of his YouTube channel. He always has the square format on the side of the gameplay and has him playing on the other side. Of course, if you're interested in the style like this, there's no need to crop down the video. Now, taking from the first step that I mentioned, when you need to hit or make a sound inside the game, this is so you can line up your audio and make your video sync up to everything inside because a lot of the time the audio actually unsyncs from the Oculus Quest and it's super frustrating to fix. If you start every one of your videos off either by doing a clap or by clicking something in the screen and letting the camera know what you're actually clicking. So let's say for example you click home, library, home and then all you got to do is match up the sounds that the audio actually made in the Oculus Quest, the audio when you said home, library, home and then the camera footage of you clapping it and it will line up all three of these different files, the camera, 
the Oculus Quest gameplay and the audio. This is a good technique to get used to if you're interested in recording Oculus Quest gameplay videos. Recording from PC VR is a little bit different because a lot of the time it goes to the full screen of the computer so you're able to just screen record your computer say with OBS or something like that and you get the full 16 by 9 straight off the bat straight from the recording. So it is a lot easier to record PC VR than it is for the Oculus Quest recordings because of that square format. Maybe in the future we'll see an update to the Quest platform where you can actually record in 16x9 or different aspect ratios. This was a very different video from what I normally cover on the YouTube channel and I put a lot of work and time into it. If you did enjoy today's video do give it a like and comment down below if you're thinking of recording Oculus Quest gameplay for your very own. If you have a YouTube channel do feel free to self promote yourself down in the comments and I'll go check it out and see what your YouTube channel content is like. If you learned anything from today's video, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to the YouTube channel in return for the content that I'm giving out. It's not easy always making YouTube content, but it's something that I really love doing and something I would absolutely love to do full time. This year, I'm going to really push on YouTube and get out as much content as I can. So of course, if you want to be a part of this journey, do subscribe to the YouTube channel, get some friends to subscribe and share the videos around. As always, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of today's video. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting me and the YouTube channel. I'm so happy that I'm able to send out free merchandise to Patreon VIP supporters. So if you're interested in getting some free merchandise just like this one for your very own and even a jumper when you reach 8 months as a Patreon, do click on the card above right now. You can go check out all the details and all the perks that you get when you become a Patreon supporter. As always, my name is David and I will see you in the next video.